Welcome back to this classic mechanic video series, so going back to our game, let's create the goals for it. Create a new sprite object named props. This will hold all the visuals for the game. The first frame will only be our destinations. This is a water leaf, I don't know its name, so it's just a leaf. That's where the frog is supposed to go. Now the second frame is an image of the frog already in the leaf. On the leaf. Set the origin to bottom. Resize the frame, but select a line instead of a stretch. We need that blank space to check for collisions. Set collision polygon to bounding box. Be sure to set animation speed to zero. Now select all the props, control drag, change initial frame to one, sit them on top of the leaves and set them as invisible. Create an instance variable named type, set to boolean and initial value to false. And in the event sheet, look for the up or row event. Create a sub event. If frog is overlapping props and props is frame one, and Boolean type is false, Toggle boolean, which turns, which turns it into true. And then set props to visible. Now set frog's position to the original position. Create another sub event, system, else, move all the movement code here. Else means that this will only trigger if the previous event was not. And remembering to pin the frog before re resetting its position, otherwise, the frog will just stay there. So now we can jump on the leaves only if they are empty, or boolean type false. If we try to jump on a previous one, which is now boolean set to true, we'll die. Ok, now the game is taking shape. In the next video we'll handle the variables like lives, score and time, as well as some finishing touches.